Let me in, I'm breaking in, I'm gonna steal everything. No, go away. Point two amendment. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. I am standing in my brand new 2022 Winnebago 2801 BHS and today we're going to be doing some modifications. We're going over some different, nah, not really modifications, nah, accessorizing if you will. I will go over these accessories, some home security, some coat hangers, the most under talked about but the best used accessory or modification in any RV, it's a screen door handle. I'll be mounting the weather wireless station there, a home organizer, and then opening up this trash can and showing you what it's all about. Now, if that sounds exciting to you, great. If not, thanks a lot for stopping in, but let's jump into today's video. So first up today, I'm gonna be opening the trash can right there, that box there. And the reason for that one is because all the accessories you see behind me come in packaging and all that packaging needs to end up in the trash. So let's open that and I'll tell you why I chose it. <sighs> Alrighty, now that that's out of the box, let's go over it. So this trash can is a home zone, don't know anything about the brand, but as I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't watched that, I just did a summary of all the accessories I'm gonna be adding to this camper. But really, I chose a trash can based on where I want my trash can to live in the camper. Now my criteria for that is I don't want to be moving it when I'm traveling. I don't want to move the trash can every time I put the slide in. I move every night for the most part. I never stay at a campsite more than two nights. So I'm on the road quite a bit. The reason for that is in another video, so check that out. But I purchased this trash can based on the actual size. Now this trash can is a two for one. It came with this trash can and that little one. I don't know if I'll use the little one here, but I can use it somewhere else. But I got this one because it was the closest dimensions to the area I'm working with. So let's see if it fits. Alrighty, so there we go. Ideally, if there was one this, depth I would find it but I couldn't find one so this one actually fits between the carpet there and the slide and this wall it does intrude on this area here but such as life I can still get in here pretty easy but right here it fits perfect it's right where the kitchen is right next to where we need it and the slide can move in and out and this can stay here so right now this is going to work perfectly for me ideally i will keep my eye out for something that is a bit narrower and if i find it then i'll get it now is it the best no but does it work yes so on to the next so next up we're gonna do the key holder key holder let's talk about it now guys let's be honest me and you we lose the keys all the time even if they're in a the hand we can't find them so ladies yeah that's what you gotta have to deal with with us. So what I like to do is, especially when I'm camping, because I don't wanna lose the keys in the middle of nowhere, uh, this is the exact key holder I have in my last camper, and it worked out perfect. And right here is the entrance, and the best place to put the keys is right here, out of the reach of the kids, and uh, right here when you get in, you just put it here, you don't lose them. Nice little uh, keychain holder, it matches the colors, as much as I can and it comes with a big piece of double-sided tape on the back as always guys there's links down below for all of this stuff if you like it or if you don't like it you don't have to click the link I don't know if you can hear but there's a helicopter flying over and it's Sunday today every Sunday this guy some billionaire beautiful helicopter flies this way and flies this way in a span of one hour so he's either going downtown Chicago or leaving downtown Chicago to go to his villa somewhere. Hashtag life goals. Anyways, this may be a bit high. Maybe my wife will yell at me, but that's for another day. It's out of the reach of the kids, and then I can hang long things. That's why I put it here. That's my rationale. I just make up decisions as I go. On to the next thing. We're gonna do these command hooks. Now, these ones are metal. They are, you know, beefy. They're expensive. I think they're $14. Pretty crazy, but they never failed another one, and they're nice, uh, so I decided to go for them again. They're not not cheap they're they're like oh my god how can this cost so much money but let's talk about these I'm gonna use for coats if you can see all right so these are the hooks that came with the camper for uh, towels now inside the closet as well there are two right there so with these it kind of acts like two hooks and how we secure towels is we actually put the towel on here and then we take girls hair ties you know clearly not my hair ties but 
and then we just wrap them around and that holds the towel when you're jumping when the camper's bouncing down the road so that's a pro tip so now i gotta figure out where i want these and how i want these to match do i want to unscrew this one or unscrew those ones let me think about it and i'll get back to you i found a towel and i found a head tie and that's what we do and that really stops it from bouncing off the hook so if you want to do that all right just so you know these are command strips so if you haven't seen videos of these you can stick them to the wall you can pull this tab and then it comes off without pulling the paint off anyways the black side is to the wall the red side is to the actual command strip here's the command strip and that's how this sticks and just so you know this uh, plastic pops off so you can actually you remove this and then it hides the little dangly white thing and then you can pull it off if you want to sell your RV or change the location of this. So let's jump into the closet and get hanging. Kind of a weird angle. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go high. This is right in line with the top of the door here, away from the door because coats are thick. I'm eyeballing this. You can use a tape measure if you want, but I've also got the hooks down below that I'm going off of. And let's eyeball it. There is a little line in the wallpaper that looks perfect let's hang this wonderful let me show you what we got so we got two there two there obviously this is nice and high off the ground now i'm actually gonna leave these for now because we might hang pants or whatever or the kids coats uh i might get more of these just to do it two layers so we can have two layers of coats but for now let's go to the master bedroom So the light switch is not center on this wall, but let's just go right under there. And let's do the same thing on this side. I'm eyeballing using my laser focus to see where we stand. Alrighty, so I actually went off this screw right here. So that's how I eyeballed it. If you guys haven't seen my video on the mattress, you should check that out. Now I'm sure I've lost some of you guys watching because this is not interesting. But believe it or not, some people want to watch this stuff, so I'm going to put it up there. Next up on the list is good old point two amendment. Point two amendment because it's not lethal. Got a handle. Anyways, let's figure out where this goes. Um, I leave all of this in because obviously you can just yank it. These things are, you know, real, real cheap. This is the exact same one I keep in my other camper. And I'm keeping my other camper for now. I just went in another camper. I heard a cry a little. It's like, hey, you abandoned me. I feel sorry. I love that camper. But I'm keeping all the accessories I did to it on there. So if I sell it, it's ready to go. Or if I keep it, it's ready to go. Anyways, I think this I'm gonna mount right here. My kids are pretty aware. Um, so I don't think they'll push it. And if they do, <laughs> it'll make for one hell of a story. Feels like there's some solid wood back there. I'm gonna get my screwdriver and screw it in. So I got my nifty difty multi-tool and then I've got my screwdriver set or my screw set that I told you guys about in another video. I recommend everyone buys one of these because RVs are known to rattle apart and then you're missing some screws and then things break. So keep a set of screws in your RV because there's gonna be a time, basically every time you arrive at your campsite, that something has unscrewed itself. So that's my, you know, two cents um, and then you got plenty of screws to help fix whatever is broken so I'm gonna find some screws and get this in so here it is there we go you want to pull it off pull it off cool so that's gonna live right there right at the door let me in I'm breaking in I'm gonna steal everything no go away point two amendment just remember to open the door if you do that Anyways, on to the next. Weather station. Alrighty, so I told you about this uh, earlier, but this is a four zone weather station. Zone one, two, three, four. Now, the reason for the four zones, if I have already mentioned it, I apologize, but I'm gonna mention it again. And this is also one I used in my other camper, which is still in my other camper. Uh, the reason for four zones, I keep one in the fridge to make sure the fridge is always working. I keep one in the basement. Uh, I kept one in the basement because my batteries are in the basement. This basement's actually heated, so maybe I'll put this on in the underbelly because I want to monitor the underbelly. 
Then I keep one at the door. So every time I get to my location, I use Velcro, stick it on the back. It sticks on the door so I know the actual outdoor temperature. And then this puppy is a zone itself and it actually just tells you the temperature where this is. Now, one thing I will say is, well, it comes with a little label so you can label the different zones. It does not come with batteries. So $75 of batteries later, I used to stick it on my wall right here and it fell off and it still works 100% but something's broken inside and it rattles on my previous one. So one thing I would like is an actual wall mount. This is just a table topper. As I said, I don't want loose things everywhere because I move every night. So I will just figure out a better way to secure this. But anyways, let me get some batteries and let me install these and we'll go from there. Before we get the batteries. Alrighty, so obviously the labels uh, are not made for an RV, um, but this zone is called indoors, which I'm fine with indoors. Then for the outdoor one, I will go with outside or porch. Hmm. I'll go out now, porch, 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 outside porch. I don't know, let's go to the next one. Uh, for the fridge, there's baby room. I don't think that's a good place for a baby. There's an apartment. An apartment for some sodas, but chicken coop. I'm going with chicken coop for the fridge. And then for the basement, there is basement. So that works. Uh, now what to do? I think porch. Porch sounds cooler than outdoors. Let's go porch. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but my oh my, our battery's expensive. Anyways, um, so when you buy this, just save up for the batteries because it requires eight. Eight old batteries. Hoo wee. All right, so on the back here, you can choose which zone one, two, or three. So the first one was on one. This one's on two. This one's going to be on three. You can also change from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius on the actual display. These have a display on them, humidity and uh, temperature. So that's kind of cool. All right, now I'm gonna show you what I do with this one. This is for the outside of the door. So this Velcro is a 3M, 3M dual lock. It's the plastic Velcro. If you live in Illinois, this is what your iPass, your tollway thingy comes with. And I'm sure you guys everywhere else that have tolls have this. But anyways, it is a reusable plastic Velcro, very strong. Uh, so I'm going to put this on the back here. And this is how I did my other one, so I know it works. I'm just going to stick it on the back here. And then I'm going to stick it on the outside. Now, it is pretty cold here in Chicago right now. So how you want to uh, get this to make sure it sticks when it's cold is heat it up with a lighter and then heat up the surface with a lighter, don't burn the surface outside, and then it will stick just like it's hot. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll check in with you. <laughs> I stuck it right there. So I can, when it's cold, I can just reach out and put it here without opening the full door. And then before we leave, I take that in. So yeah, I don't leave that out when we're driving. I have left it out driving a couple hundred miles and it stayed, but now to figure out where this baby goes, I'm actually looking right here this area looks pretty good um so i'm gonna put some of that velcro on the bottom here and this can stay here therefore i can just throw some random junk behind here look at that all right so the clock slash weather station is all set up funny enough this actually connects to the weather band system uh so there's a button in here to set it to connect to the weather band it will synchronize the time at 1, 2, and 3 a.m. But you gotta set the time first, and then it'll just always check, and that's how it gets the weather. Did not know that. I'm pretty sure I did that setup before, I just couldn't remember. Anyway, so this thing's all set up. Uh, let me just show you quick. So yeah, that uh, is how it's all looking. So, that looks great. I've secured it with that tape, so it should be good. Uh, driving down the road, we will find out. Alrighty, now let's get to the office and home organization set. Now, the reason, oh, looks like there's different options. 
Okay, so I didn't want a pin board because pins will fall off and then kids will stand in them. So I went with this one. Now my kids are getting to the age where they can read and they you know, want to know what's happening in the day. That's the thought behind there is we will put an itinerary or you know where we're supposed to be because they were clueless the last 24,000 miles. They just got in the car, got out, got in, got out. At least this gives them, we're going to the beach this day. We're going to the mountains this day. It gives them something to look forward to. And you know, something else to uh, keep the kids entertained. So I think, I don't know if I'm gonna stick it outside of the door. Yeah, I think we'll stick it on the outside here. And we'll probably be using the good old Velcro for this too. So I've put these Velcros all in the same area so they can be interchanged. These two on the outside of the door and this one on the inside of the door. And this one will just be a moving piece of paper for them when they want to sit on the couch and draw. So the door will just have two there and one on the inside, but they can all be interchanged. So I'm gonna install those. Well, it's looking more and more personalized as we move on. Let me show you here. There we go. We got the month, then we got the weekly planner. And then inside here, I just put this one lower so my kids, my mini kids can reach that when uh, I'm sleeping. All right, the last accessory I'm gonna be doing today is this one. Everyone needs this one if you have a screen door like this. So let me open that up, show you what it's about, and install it right here. Alrighty, uh, so it's a pretty simple little concept here. So the screen has no handle, right? It has a little door handle, but who grabs that little handle? It is annoying. So this is a pretty simple concept. Let me just join it together here. Little this, little that. Little this. So there's two holes. This is the mount. This clips in here. Same thing on the other side. There's no holes on this side. There's holes on this side. Because this is the adjustability. Now you adjust it to how wide your screen door is. Obviously you want to keep this black thing in the middle to keep it visually appealing. And let me see if I can show you this. So you mount this right here and then it just gives you a handle to actually slam shut instead of using that stupid little thing. So I put it right here and I love it. So I'm gonna quickly install that, pre-drill these holes and screw them in and get going. Alrighty, so first you wanna take the measurements of where the holes go. Okay, so mine, hole to hole, center to center is 23 and an eighth. So now I wanna lay this out, 23 and an eighth, and then center this piece, because when you move it, it will be able to slide left and right. And then with these holes, you pre-drill, and you set these in before you go and mount it. So let's do that, and make sure it's the right distance, and then I will mount it. So first, we're just gonna mount these in place, because obviously those aren't moving anywhere. Okay, so we're going 23 and an eighth. That's 23 and an eighth. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill right here just cause it'll be easier to get these in. Now that I know this is all set and solid, I'm gonna go move this along the door, mark out where it fits perfectly and then draw a line, and then I will put the screws in. I just wanna show you something. There are three, one, two, three levels to the door. You wanna drill through the first one, and then the second one, but not the third one. If you drill through the third one, you're actually going to go through, and then you'll be able to see the hole on the back side of the screen. So keep that in mind. Check out the final product. So this is what it's all about right there so it's nicely mounted it's secure i put it at the cross brace here it's going to be the strongest area in the door you can put it wherever you want but this is also how you get the door closed now pretty simple so that's why i love that thing if you're looking here's eye height you can't really see this handle here uh, you just got a feel for it so that's all a personal preference also i need my kids to be able to do it 
but I think that works out perfectly. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today's accessories. To sum it up, uh, we did the door handle. We did the monthly, weekly planning with uh, an extra board here for the kids. We did the coat hooks up there. We did our nifty nifty weather station there. We did the two coat hooks in the master bedroom and then we did the trash cans. So right now, I'm happy with everything we did. It would be better to find a trash can that was a bit shorter right there, but it's gonna work out just fine for what I need it for. But guys, if you found today enjoyable or handy or comedic, just hit that subscribe button. Share this video with some friends if you're gonna think this series will help them. But next video, we'll jump into the next project. We got kitchen, we got all the other stuff that we got laying around here that needs to be installed. And then later on, we got a mega solar power build we're going to be doing. So be sure you follow along. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, and we installed Amendment Point 2.